WebEx takes a little bit of time to make the content available to you. And so the best way to know that you have the captions or transcript ready and the video ready is for you to receive an email. It will be sent from messenger at webex.com. You'll see your WebEx meeting and you can basically click view content if you like. The other way to do it is to open up the WebEx account. When you're there and you're logged in, you're able to click on this recordings. And you'll see here is the WebEx training that I did. And so what you're going to do is you're going to come over here and you can click this download. It gives you two files. It gives you the video file and it gives you the VTT transcript. So you click download. Once those downloads are done, they're going to show up on Chrome down here at the bottom. But another place to look for them is to open up your folders. And you're going to find your downloads folder. If it's listed in the details format here on view, you're going to see them at the top if you click date modified. Now, the first file is the video and the second file is the VTT file. Now what you can do is you can right click the VTT file and you can open it with different software. You have different choices depending on what you want to accomplish. So it asks you which application do you want to use. So you click try an app on this PC. Now, in my case, since I want to make a transcript, what I would do is I'd come down here to Word and I'd open it up in Word. And there you go. Here is the transcript. And if you want to delete out the content, that is the timestamp and the number of the caption, you can do that. You just highlight them and press delete and then of course name the file what you want and so forth. Now I'm not going to save this but that's how you make a transcript. The other thing that you might want to do is you might want to open this up so that you can save it again as a VTT file and I wouldn't do that with Word. So when you get back here to the VTT file and you right click on it again and go open with and go to the apps, you might choose something like Notepad or WordPad. I'm going to open it up in Notepad. Now the file is a little off the page here. Since I have two monitors, it breached the second monitor. Now, the problem with this is that you're going to need to have this in WordWrap. So you want word wrap set and then you can you can then make edits, but you'll have to have the ability to watch the video. So let's go back to our folder. And you'll see that the video is right here. It is going to be very short. And so you're going to have to watch the video and make sure that it's correct if you're going to save it again as a VTT file for use somewhere else. And that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. Hopefully, when you learn how to use live captions in WebEx, you will be able to use the transcripts for students or for someone else who's a guest who would need that information.